Upper Seki don't commission 5,400 metric tons of cashew factory. Say make youth accept the opportunities for agribusiness. A do state governor, Godwin Obaseki, don't tax youth to accept opportunities for agriculture by making them send innovative ideas, take start and develop agribusiness projects. I have a unique and distinct pleasure to officially cut the ribbon to mark the beginning of work and processing of cashews from this facility in Benin City. Obaseki made the submission after he commissioned 5,400 metric tons per year cashew processing factory along PZ Road for Benin City, Edo State. The governor reassures say the government will support businesses for the state, still create environment for them to work, assist them reduce risk, and ensure say they make profits plus advance their services for the state. You recall as a government, we said that we are going to create jobs. And we made it clear that it is not government that creates the jobs. It is the private sector that creates jobs. But for private sector to create jobs, government must support them. Government must create the enabling environment so that they can go out there and take the risks. Government must also help them reduce the risks they are taking so that they can make profit. That way they continue to expand. The second is that we identified the areas we knew and felt that jobs would come from. And top of that list was agriculture. And we're very pleased as government with the kind of bold activities, bold initiatives which Hamford has undertaken. They're not doing anything that is uh, like rocket science. Take this process for instance. Our people, many of our, most of our people in the villages, in the Onwa area, in the Do North, you know they grow, cashew grows there naturally. Most of the cashew goes to rot. But now, with this facility, they are going to be encouraging farmers to farm and harvest cashew fruits and cashew nuts because if they, were, they are not giving value to such produce. I know they are doing the same thing for beans. I know they are doing the same thing for a few for that sweet potato, right? So they are identifying crops that are already doing well, crops that people are already used to cultivating, and they are providing markets for those crops. What we as government have decided to do is to encourage people like Pamford. We expect that a lot of younger men and women can come out and see that, look, they have opportunities in this agricultural space. So the third thing is for us as government to open up and encourage more of people like uh, Osai and his partner to come and invest in a dough. That investments do well because the people of Edo are progressive people. They will help you protect the investments. And as long as everybody is fair and open, everybody will benefit. What we are seeing here today for me is very impressive. The key risk I see is for us to be able to get enough cashew fruits. And we would like to work with you as government to now go to those areas where cashew does well naturally. Let us give the farmers improved seeds. Let us give them offtake agreements so that to encourage them to go and cultivate more. I, you told me that there are some fast yielding varieties where in 18 months they can begin to fruit. We would like to work with you in our tree crop units in the ministry to build capacity to go into those farms, go to the farmers and encourage them to grow these cash crops and because you will give them good prices for their produce. We want a dough to be number one when it comes to cashew. Cashew is just one of the many products that we will be supporting because it has a very easy export market. So for the export cluster, you know, we, we, you see we are working to make sure that we bring in more materials, more raw materials for your work. Um, we want to engage with you to see how we can invest in greenhouses, 
you know, this, you know, and uh, more intensive farming type products. Um, and this can be done for several products, whether it is a bono, um, you know, different different crops, different seeds. So, Pamford, congratulations. We're very happy and proud of what you are doing. Uh, we want to encourage a lot of younger people to be more enterprising. Don't worry, I will continue to support you. There's, I am here, I'm the governor of a new generation. The co-chief executive officer, Farm Fort, Osazua Usai, talks that the facility will produce 5,400 metric tons of cashew for one year. Steno said the produce will be processed for the factory for Edo State and will positively affect between 2,000 to 3,000 smallholder farms where grow cashew for the state. This facility is a cashew processing facility that converts cashew nuts um, to cashew kernels. It's broken in two. There's a cashew kernel processing um, component and there's a cashew nut liquid processing component. Uh, so basically, um, it's a 24 metric tons per hour facility and it has the capacity to, um, three, about 300 workers in full capacity can work here at, at one given time. From Benin, Osatoame Ubedi, 40MC News.